Drew here from Drew's Crochet and in today's video we're going to look at the third and final step of how to make Stanley the Snail shell. Now if you've missed the first two episodes, step one and step two, I'm going to put a link up at the top of the screen so you can go back and find out. But for today we're going to find out how to do the actual curl for his shell. Now if you like these videos please remember to subscribe and hit that bell down there. Now let's get on with the third and final step. Okay, so if you finished steps one and step two, you should now have a cone that looks a bit like this. And can you see the whole of it is covered in this very thick and beautiful ridging. Let me if you can see that there, let's get it up close to the camera. And it's all the way around it in a spiral. Now what we want to do to get this into a shell like is to make that curl under there so we can put it on the back of Stanley and make a good snail shell. So first of all, obviously, cut the thread so we can got something to work with. Get a tiny bit of stuffing and just put it right at the very top. You don't want too much up there. We just want enough so it isn't very flat at the very end. Don't want a lot. We still want it to be able to curl around. Okay? Right, now we've done that, I want you to get your needle and thread the end bit because we've left a long tail because you're going to need a long tail. Right? Thread the needle. Take your time about it. Okay. Now this bit is the intrinsic bit. Right. If you can see, every ridge, you we want to take our needle from this one, we want to go through the base of every stitch going down, down to the end of the cone. So we don't, don't try and get it go through the entire thing, you just want to go to the base of every stitch you've just made. Just through once through every row. Just carry it on down. Don't worry, you don't have to do all of it in one go. Just get it as far as the needle will go and pull that through. Don't pull too hard yet. Just carry on doing it in a straight line down to the bottom of the cone. You haven't got a long needle. Make sure you don't get all rebelled up. There we go. Just carry on down. And when you're down to the bottom, just pull the needle through. Okay. At this point, before we pull any more, we want to put a bit more stuffing to pad out the middle bit there. Not too much again, but just enough to have a nice bit of padding. So when we pull it round into the shell shape, It'll fill out very nicely. Okay, so right, see not a lot in there. Now then, we want to pull on this thread here to pull the end in. You might have to help it round a bit, but once you've got the curl going, it's going to look really nice. Okay, now then, you see? Really nice curl there. Now then, once you have that and you, it's the curl that you want to, to keep there, secure the bottom bit, the thread that you've got there, secure it at the bottom so the curl doesn't come undone again. So it just means doing a few stitches at the bottom to make sure it doesn't come undone. And you might also want to take that back up through the base of the stitches again so you, people can't see it and go to the bottom of the curl and secure that at the same point where it touches the shell. Okay? So, can you see that there? We've got the curl, the beginning of it there. We want to secure that to the body of the shell. So just simply put the needle in and Put a few stitches in there. So. And once that's secure, and it won't come undone again, there, like that, that is when you can now start to pad the shell out a bit more to make it 
have a bit of body in it. So put a bit more stuffing in it. And don't overstuff it. You don't want the stuffing to come through. Make sure all the ridges are going in the same way. You can see it's starting to, to come out nicely. Actually, at this point, you can see. Can you see? You can see the base as well, because we made the base the same colour. If you did a different coloured base to the ridges that are going around, that could have a really nice effect. It's usually better if you have a dark base and a lighter colour going on the outside. And that comes out quite nicely. I just get a bit more stuffing and put a bit more in there. See? That's great. So now, that's filled his shell out quite nicely. And that is the beautiful finished shell. And the next we'll make the body to go for Stanley and stick it on the back. Of course, slip off, finish off that, and you have a finished shell. And that is step three of how to make the snail shell.